What's up, my Fred Riders or car enthusiast peoples? Uh, right now, what we're going to be doing is actually plastic dipping. I've been trying to do that for a while. I already did the, um, the side right here. A red plastic dip I got off Walmart, stuff like that. It's, it's good. I just got to clean out the edges, fix it up. But it turned out pretty good. For a beginner, it did really good. I just got to clean the little areas where... It didn't peel off right right there. Um, clean up, little odor spray misting, but that comes off pretty easy. And I did my um, door handle. And I got a plastic dip on my uh, my little key keyhole thing, but I kind of like it. It reminds me of Deadpool, so I didn't make a big deal out of it. So I did those two, so I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't, um, like mess up in the video and make, call it a fail so right now what I'm gonna do is actually try to do the gas lid hopefully I have enough um, plastic dip for that and the door handle and the um, side mirror so yeah um, let's do a time lapse now okay so I forgot to mention guys in this video we're, it's gonna be a two-parter I'm gonna do the gas lid and the door handle and I will be doing this a whole separate different video because it's a lot I guess for me it was a little bit more complicated so yeah I'm gonna do that I already got that taped down and uh, I will do I guess a time lapse but I will tell you um, like a commentary style on what to how many coats and everything you should do I did seven coats the thicker the better um, you first want to do a tacky coat and then um, just spray all you can on the coats and I weigh in between coats 10 I have enough to do the pre dip spray the whole kit whatever so I read online and what you want to do is just mix 50% alcohol 50 to 50 alcohol rubbing alcohol and water in a spray bottle and use a fiber cloth towel and what I do is pretty much that's pretty much the pre dip spray so it, you just Put some on your microfiber towel like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. And just wipe down the surface where you're gonna do the pre-dip. I mean the plastic dip. I usually like to get it all around here. You don't want to spray too much. I think I sprayed a little too much, but wipe that down. It's Florida, so it's pretty hot, so all right guys, so I just sprayed my first tacky coat. Oh, so this is uh, gonna be the second coat and now this is where you wanna start laying it hard on there. Okay, so this is the, how it looks. I still haven't taken up the peeling. I did say I was gonna make another video on that, but I ended up doing it. So I'm sorry, but I would just link a whole bunch of two videos on how to do all of this plastic dip and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube and I'm just gonna show you a link to the video where I learned how to do this and this one came out way better than the one over there actually and the reason why they both look darker I mean one looks brighter than others probably because it's just painted or it's the sun or lighting but yeah it's getting dark so we need to do this before it starts raining I this is another day actually the day I was doing it, it was Friday and today's Monday and this can just came out bad because it started raining and the paint just started peeling. Wind was blowing and this actually got stuck on the paint. So yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't, oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, oh yeah, there too, but it doesn't matter. As long as this is okay, nothing else matters. So yeah, time lapse on taking out all of these. So there it is. Um, I know this is over, over spray, but that was my fault. I didn't cover it all the way because I was on a uh, fast time. I started doing this at 10 and it's 12 and it's already how it looks. So I just try to do it as fast as possible. So by any means necessary, it's not Plastic Dip's fault. It's more my fault because I didn't prepare. There's mosquitoes. Damn it. Um, it's my fault because um, I didn't cover it all the way. But yeah, I can just take this off easily, it doesn't matter. 
and um, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I just ignored this. This is my fault. It wasn't positive or anything. It was more user error because I didn't do it. But yeah, um, this is really good. I like how it can go. So it is now currently raining, so I had to stop doing the time lapse. This is how it looks so far. Um, oh yeah, and besides, I didn't really get upset about this because I was planning on washing it before I go to school. So I can just look up how to take this off. It should be easy. It's already coming off with how wet the water is, so it doesn't matter, you can see. So yeah, talk to you guys whenever it stops raining so I can just take this off. I mean. I think I can just take it off right now, let me see. It's official. Um, okay, so right here, I kind of did mess up because I yanked it right now really fast and I was not supposed to do that. But good thing is you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell a little bit, but maybe because I showed you guys. But besides that, the main actual thing came out way better than the one over there. But it was my first time using plastic zip and I actually love it. I have a few friends that say they don't like it, but I actually like it and it's my car, so I don't care. Why well, you can really see the red on the red overspray on my bumper. Wow, that's actually a lot. Oh well, I'll take that off after I finish recording. But yeah, that's another reason why I didn't really care that much for overspray because I knew um, this can come off. I gotta take that part off right there. And thanks for watching, guys. Oh god, it's raining pretty hard. Okay, alright guys, so um, this is a little like behind the scene thing. So I ended up actually um, having a whole bunch left over. Maybe like over 35% left. And I decided to paint the door handle back things. I don't know what they're called. I'm just still a noob. But I'm going to give it a go and see how it go um, goes. Because I wanted to paint it in black, but then red so I could match the interior. So we're going to see how it goes. So yeah, I'll show you guys uh, the finale thing of how the outcome of how it came out.